Again, proving how amazing the 1969 Amazing Mets were, 19 of them were struck out in a nine-inning ball game by Steve Carlton, a feat never accomplished before. But they still won the game as Ron Svoboda hit two home runs for the victory. Here's Ron with his personal feelings about the Mets. Well, you know, we had two shots at 500, and the first time we had a five-game losing streak, the second time we hung on to it, and we, I don't think we've been below it yet. But still, right then and there, no one, I wasn't sure enough. I think maybe it was the four years I was with this club that uh, it took so long to re-educate my mind. But I had to wait for a few streaks. It's almost been uh, recently that I felt that we were first place caliber. I guess until we got, until we got there, really. Because uh, you don't know what it is. It's an unknown quantity to me. And I was more interested in thinking more about just playing good ball. And suddenly I realized you look back at what we had really done. And I said, gee, we are that good a ball club. And uh, I think this is, this is what cemented my uh, confidence in this club. Time and time again, Jerry Kuzman was the man who stemmed the losing tie. The strong arm left-hander came back from arm trouble to become a part of a great team effort. Here's Jerry's pitch. Well, I think it all started in spring training, but to pick out a certain turning point in the season would probably be, oh, after the All-Star game. We got going bad after the All-Star game. We got a little slump, but we came back out of it, and I think that's when our real turning point was. What about the game that you pitched against the Chicago Cubs in which you struck out 13 Cubs? It was the first game of a very important series with Chicago, and you won it by a score of 3-2. to two. Was that a big point? Quite, Ralph. It was important. Uh, the first game against Chicago, by winning it, really gives the team confidence going into the second game, really having a good lift, knowing that we can beat Chicago and then wipe the series. And you got to have the first game of the series to take the whole series. On June 19th, Art Shapsky went 4-for-4 four four with two home runs off Jerry Johnson to lead the Mets in the win over the Phillies. Art's timely bat gave the Mets a big edge throughout the season. He tells you how the Mets did it with this thought. Well, Ralph, I think a uh, big turning point for the ball club was when we went west the first time and uh, we had that 10-game winning streak. And I think uh, it's like when you're hitting, uh, if you don't hit, you don't believe you can hit in the same way as winning. I think as soon as you start winning some ball games, you start believing you can win. We started to win. Uh, we beat the Giants and swept the series Giants and the Dodgers and went out to their place and won. And uh, I just think that's what happened to the ball club. They finally believed that they could win, and I think that was the biggest turning point in the season. The Mets leading batter, Cleon Jones, constantly pulled the Mets through. He was their leader, but he always played it for the team, as you'll hear now from Cleon. Well, Ralph, it wasn't so much myself. I, I felt that uh, if uh, we could get guys like Tommy Agee, you know, to uh, come up to uh, his potential, and uh, a guy like uh, Shibota, you know, to come in and do the job, and Chef uh, is having a wonderful year, and uh, all the guys are chipping in, and uh, this is what made the thing uh, so beautiful this year, that uh, we've had 25 guys, and uh, all the guys have chipped in and uh, done their job well, and uh, they've come over to big bases. they made the big plays in the outfield and uh, on the bases, and uh, there's been an effort of 25 guys and of course, uh, Clint Dillon came over, and uh, I think uh, he, he added uh, to our ball club because he's won a few ball games for us this year. And uh, when you can get 25 guys that go out there and do the job, and uh, they want to win, and uh, they're kind of hard to beat. Last but definitely not least, Bud Harrelson was a big part of the Mets' success. He had a glove that was always in the right spot, and his bat spoke in timely fashion from both the right and left sides of the plate. It was a great season for the Mets. And it is best shown by the flashy player, their smallest player, Bud Harrelson. Here's Bud's version of the Mets' turn to first place. Well, I think it was way back in the series when San Francisco and L.A. and San Diego came into town and, and to New York. And I think we lost the first game against San Diego, and then we won the second one in 11 innings, and I think we won the third one easily, and then went on to win three against L.A. and three against San Francisco. And that gave us a little momentum. We realized that we were a pretty good ball club. We could play good, pretty good ball, but defensive-wise, good pitching, and we were getting, at the time, a lot of key hits. I think that was the secret for us. You have just heard what the ball players had to say before their amazing team won the championship. Now we'd like to take you directly to the clubhouse for the victory nice celebration. Nice to be here. Well, we got everything going down here in the clubhouse. I got to work here. Who's next? Thank you very much, Ralph. I would have to say this was the biggest thrill of all of them because of the way these boys have been coming on and uh, held lightly regarded at the opening of the season and then starting to hit their way around 
around the last part of May and coming on and doing the job. It's, it was just great, and I think it's, this has to be the, my biggest thrill. Right here, Jerry, congratulations on a sensational year. Thank you very much, Ralph. It's great to be here tonight, believe me. You know, that champagne in your eyes doesn't quite go. It goes much better than the throat, believe me. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Right here, the little mighty Mike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bud Harrelson and Bud won the ball game last night to set it up for tonight. And again, Bud had another fine night. Nice going, Bud. Thank you, Ralph. Nice to be here. Here we are. Play on, John. I knew he was going to take it tonight, uh, and I just want to be there to be a part of it. Uh. And the guys were marvelous. It's been that way all year. Boy, it's beautiful. Guys like AJ. Your buddy here did a lot right here. He had a sensational year. Tommy, that's all right. Let's do all the talking. Hey, we told if we didn't get back in the night, we weren't going to do the champagne. So you see, you got back in. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Well, you got him back in just in time, Tommy. And, uh, I have a shower for the I pull out my champagne and all. <laughs> right in there. Here's the guy that causes all the trouble, Tom Seaver. And Tom's running along. <laughs> You guys just don't have any fun. Hell, this is, I tell you what, we've been holding it back, really, you know, just for this night. But uh, this is not the end right here. We're going to go out win the playoffs and hopefully the World Series. Yes, folks, it was an amazing season for an amazing team. And we hope you've enjoyed sharing it with us. This is Ralph Conner signing off and saying so long for the amazing Mets. <laughs>